Yeah. Okay, so you've already had, of your 12 minutes, you've already had 8 minutes, or just, just over 8 minutes, okay, to try and answer this question. Quite a few of you are struggling a little bit with B and C. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to give you some hints, I'm going to try and talk to you, discuss the question with you, what kind of things you should be thinking about, and then I'm going to give you the last four minutes again to do this. Okay, so let's have a look at what, what we've got here, uh, and how we can, we can maybe, I could help you out with this bit. Okay, so a ball travels a horizontal of 2.9 metres to reach the top of the basket. The effects of air resistance can be ignored. Now it's important this line, air resistance can be ignored, which means that there's no deceleration in the horizontal direction. That is what that's saying. This, this line here is saying that A in the horizontal direction, H equals zero, because air resistance can be ignored. You will always get air resistance being ignored for this type of question, but don't just assume it's ignored. Okay, uh, you're going given lots of things. You're given 2.9, so S in a horizontal direction. Now, when you're doing this kind of question, the first thing you should be looking to do is write down everything the question is telling you. And to do that on one of these, you are you should write down your S U V A T. So S U V A T, and that's for horizontal, and S U V A T for vertical. Okay, and I would do that. Kind of straight away to try and get you writing down information that you that you know and ones you need to find out. So this would be your horizontal, this would be vertical. So horizontally, you know the displacement is 2.9. Um, you know you'll, you're going to work out your initial velocity, so you will know that very shortly, and you will know this very shortly because you're going to work them out in part A. Now, final velocity, you don't know. Final velocity, you don't know. Acceleration in the horizontal direction. There is resistance can be ignored, therefore it is zero. Acceleration in the vertical direction. Now this is the one that you would be careful with. What direction does the object start going to start with? Michael. Up. So what direction is acceleration acting in, James? <laughs> As I fly up the way. No. Gravity gra down. Down, it's always down. Okay, right. So, acceleration, gravitational acceleration is always down. So, if you start going up, you treat upwards as positive, therefore, down is going to be negative. Okay, so that A, we should say, is negative 9.8. That is because we're saying that upwards is positive and downwards is negative. And time we don't know yet. We should be able to calculate time. So, this is all information the question has told us. Now, we don't really, this part here, 2.3, this 2.3 here, and this h, in the vertical direction, we're not really sure what's going to happen. The total displacement is going to be this minus this little bit here. And then that, we're going to come back to that maybe later on. Right, calculates the horizontal component of the initial velocity of the ball, the vertical component of the initial velocity of the ball. So you're working out your horizontal and vertical components. For this one here, you know that's the motion of the ball from here. And you know that's 50 degrees along the bottom. So that's 50. And you know it's going up like that. And that you know that that is 6.5. What it's asking you for, horizontal and vertical components of that, are going to be this and this. To add vectors together, you must join them nose to tail. You must put the end of one arrow onto the start of the other. Okay, so that is your horizontal component. That is your vertical component. This is a right angle triangle. Use your Pythagoras, 6.5 hypotenuse, that is going to be um, your initial v uh, velocity in the vertical direction, and that's going to be UH. Okay, so I'll cut to for that. Should be able to do that, fairly straightforward, it's one mark each. Show that the time taken for the ball to reach the basket is 0 0.69 seconds. Well, the total time taken is going to be the same in horizontal and in vertical. All right, they are the same. You're, you're, you're in the air for the same length of time in the vertical direction as you are in the horizontal direction. There is no difference. So it doesn't matter how you calculate it, but you can only have to calculate one of them. Which one do you have more information on? Horizontal. horizontal, definitely. You now know you. So you now know this, and you now know this. You now know these two, because you just calculate them doing this. So the horizontal you have more information <coughs> on. You know S, U, A, and this one. With vertical, you only know u and a. So really, I don't know any forms just as u and a in them to calculate time. However, with horizontal, you get three things. So you should be able to calculate time fairly easily. 
To do that, show that the time taken for the bottle reach basket is 0.69 seconds. You look at the equation of motion. You're looking for something with U, A, S and T in it. S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Now, I need to see that formula written down to start with. And then you say, well, because A is zero, this whole part of the formula disappears and S equals UT. And if you come straight in with S equals UT, you have to say because A is zero. All right? S equals UT, rearrange for T, you get that. Calculate the height at the top of the basket. Now, you've already calculated time, so now we know this, and now we know this. Because the time is the same for both vertical and horizontal. Calculate the height H at the top of the basket. Well, the height H is going to be, um, when you do this bit here, the time it's in the air, in the vertical direction, well, you know it's going to travel a displacement of that there. That is going to be your S in the vertical direction. Okay? That's going to be this here. This one here is going to be where it's travelled in the vertical direction. So to get H, you work out the height travelled, you work out displacement in the vertical direction, you work out this one. You know U, you know A, you know T. Just calculate S. S equals UT plus a half AT squared. Make sure it's negative. So use this formula again. And whatever displacement you get, you must add on to the 2.3 to get the total overall height of the basket. Okay? That's something that people often forget in this question. It's adding on this 2.3. So for this one here, you're doing the same formula again to get your S, which is just the addition, and then add on that underneath to get total height. Then finally, a student observing the player makes the following statements. We're not writing anything. Pens down. As I said, I'm going to give you four minutes to finish this off. The student observing the player makes the following statement. The player should have thrown the ball with a higher speed at the same angle. The ball would then land at the basket as before, but it would take a shorter time to travel the 2.9 metres. Explain why a student's statement is incorrect. So you're already told it's incorrect. You're also, you also get two marks for this. So I would suggest there's either two pieces of information, fairly a large piece of information, or four small pieces of information. You will not get a mark for saying it's incorrect, because you're already given that. Okay? So what we're looking for is some piece of information to tell you why it's incorrect. Well, have a think about it. Uh, the player should have thrown the ball with a higher speed at the same angle. Higher speed, but at the same angle. If you throw it with a higher speed, what's going to that mean for the horizontal displacement or the vertical displacement? It'll be in the answer. Okay? And you've got four minutes to try and discuss that. So, have a little talk about two marks. I would talk about what happens in the vertical direction and what talks about in the horizontal direction. This is without me looking at the marking scheme. Okay? These are the kind of things it's looking for. Right? So, last four minutes, uh, on you go. Get this start, get it finished off. <coughs> there you go, four minutes, 42 to go. Oh, right, shh, shh. So, I've actually stopped, let me press play, let's just go back up top for two things. Okay, there we go for uh, horizontal uh, and vertical initial velocities. Time, that's fine. Third part of the question was this here. Uh, calculating, uh, now a lot of people don't do that, add on another height, so there you go, make sure you add on another height. Is anyone struggling? Anyone not getting this so far? Okay, right, and down at the bottom, right, there's a the mark again here. First of all, you're saying the ball will not land in the basket. Okay, so the question's saying, uh, explain why this happens. Well, it's a bit of an obvious thing, the ball will not land in the basket. Initial vertical speed would increase because you're throwing it with a greater velocity. Initial vertical speed would increase. Right? Uh, so ball is higher than the basket when it's travelled 2.9 metres horizontally or the ball has travelled further horizontally when it is the same height as the basket. So either way, if you're going to throw it with a, a greater um, initial velocity at the same angle, it's not going to go in the basket because it's going to travel further uh, at the same height or it's going to travel higher when it's, uh, it's going to be at a higher point when it's 2.9 metres horizontally. Ross? Uh, see, what uh, time when it, it, it travels higher? That's not, that's just well, if it travels higher, that's true, right, but it travels higher, you would say it travels, it's higher above, uh, when it reaches a basket, it's too high. You'd want to say that. Mm -hmm. So you probably get half mark for saying that. So, to half mark for saying it travels higher. Okay. But you need to say it doesn't enter the basket. That makes sense? Anyone unsure if they've written the right thing down? Okay. Give myself a little mark for that uh, and a token for that one.